Hello everybody, welcome to Leech Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco, back for another episode for this week. Um, so I've got a wine here that I bought uh, at the Spicewood Vineyard. So if you remember, uh, I may have talked about this, did a uh, wine tour, Texas wine tour a few weeks ago with um, It's Just Grapes. Uh, dot com and um, had a great time in one of the wineries that I went to or that we went to was Spicewood Vineyards and uh, bought this wine um, one because I liked it and two it was um, for most importantly because I liked it I didn't buy it just because it was nine ninety nine but I bought it because I liked it and it was in the price point they had other wines there that I really liked but they were outside of the normal price point so I really should probably do the uh, whole Deal here. So this is the 2007 Spicewood Vineyards Cabernet Claret. Uh, now this is, like I said, $9.99. It is from the Spicewood Vineyards in Spicewood, Texas. A lot of spice in there. Uh, though if I remember right, there's not a lot of spice in the wine. It shouldn't be. But um, so before I actually taste it, just want to mention that um, I was in an environment, a lot of fun. My first real like kind of uh, wine tour type of thing. Like the previous week I'd been to Becker Vineyards and to Grape Creek and so I went to the wine tasting room. So it was my first experience going to a, a winery or a vineyard to do a wine tasting. But I was surrounded by a bunch of fun people so it was a really nice environment uh, that I was trying to be very objective while I was at all three of them. So with that said and that I really liked the wine, now we're in a controlled setting and um, I am in a good mood, so it's not like I'm in a horrible mood or anything. But uh, I'm in a more controlled setting, so I don't really have uh, all that activity going on. So we'll check it out. Oh, that took forever, right? Um, it's really light on the nose. It's a claret, which um, it's kind of hard to, for maybe you might be able to tell. Um, with the white background, but you can really see through this. This is not technically a rosé, but a claret. Clarets are, are tend to be light red wines, and these uh, it's what the not the French, the English um, termed wines that were coming from Bordeaux because they were uh, the ones that they liked were the ones that are like this. So I got some got some pepper out of that. Now I'd gotten some fruit on the first uh, the first little sniff there. And I got like an itchy nose. It feels like I got ugh. anyway, we're not gonna describe that. So I was getting some some light red fruits, some bright red fruits, and I'm getting a little bit of pepper out of it, which by now you should know if there's pepper in wine, I'm gonna like it. Like last night, we'll talk about that in a second. So let's taste it because you know, I mean, I could I could smell this for a while, but uh, let's taste it. Let's get this over. Hmm. Okay, so immediately it's. it's it's a light wine, but I got some floral out of it, which you know we've talked to talk before. I have a hard time with floral, but there's there's a, a very little like a little hint of sweetness to it. Um, like you maybe put like a a little bit of sugar in there, but nothing that was like you know it wasn't like you know people who have sweet tea and it's really really sweet. This is like just like a hint of sugar to it. Um, you got some floral, some like. Um, I see maybe cherry strawberry. And it seemed like a hint of tobacco on there, but it's really just, you know, the, the bright red fruits, a little bit of sweetness to it. And you got the floral. It's not super dry, but you can tell there's tannins to it. Um, let me tell you the breakdown of this. This is 47% Cabernet Sauvignon, 36% Merlot, 12% Cabernet Franc, and six, I'm sorry, 5% Zinfandel. Um, it is um, 
aged in 36% French oak and 64% uh, stainless steel. Now they have cinnamon spice. That's probably the spice I was getting. It was probably the the, the pepper I was getting. It's probably the cinnamon. Uh, flavors of cherry and soft fruits. I always like it when, when I quote get it right. However, it doesn't mean that you know, you're going to taste or smell these things. I mean, you might taste... I don't know, blackberries out of it and not chase any cherry. Um, so it's $9.99 and it's, it's, again, it's as good as I remember uh, up at the, up at the uh, vineyard. Um, it's a decent wine. Um, I would tell you to get it again. I don't think you can get it at grocery stores. Um, so you, you definitely gonna have to contact the, the, uh, the winery. When I went to the website this morning, I, it was, I, it didn't seem like I was able to order any of them, even though there was a button that says order here. Um, some of the wines definitely said sold out, but some of the other wines didn't say anything. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if, they're, if their website has an issue with their with their shopping cart, but or I was just doing something wrong. But uh, yeah, so that's, uh, check them out. They have, a, they have a mailing list, so check them out too. I'm on it, and uh, I really like it. I'm gonna say, um, you know, 85 kind of just sticks in my head. You know, it's, I think it's a solid wine. It's it's easily drinkable. You can easily drink this on its own. Uh, combine it with some light fare. Um, they suggested some seafood stuff, which that's great. I mean, I'm not really a seafood person. Um, they also suggested lamb kebab. I can see doing a light, you know, you're not going to put like a, a heavy steak with this, but a lamb would work. Maybe, um, maybe some pork. Um, my favorite, barbecue. You know, I think this is a good barbecue wine. I'm not sure about pizza though. I think the pizza would overpower it too much. Um, I had I had the uh, what did I drink last night with some pizza? Oh, I had the swaggy with the pizza. It was all right. I don't think it really paired well with the pizza. Uh, I didn't, you know, I just kind of drank what was left. I mean, on my glass, I didn't finish the bottle. So yeah. Anyway, check them out. I'll get the link below for that. You may have noticed uh, I, I've re-enabled the uh, a lot of the other ads. I've changed some of the ads up that I, that I have with the affiliate programs that I've signed up. So, guys, click these links. It's going to go up another minute or two. Um, this is episode, what, 64, 63, 64, 65, somewhere around there. Um, 65, I think. Um, but, uh, obviously, I'm not going away anytime soon. So, um, click the links. You know, buy, you know, especially the wine stuff. I mean, there's things you can, you know, wine.com. There's, there's wine.com and my wines direct. I re-enabled those. Click those. You can get some wines for good prices from them. Um, hope to have some other sponsors. I'd like to get some of my local guys. Hint, hint to sign up with ads. Maybe you can click the links and maybe order off of your websites, which I don't think most of them can't do that. Um, need to bug somebody else that I buy wine from a lot. Need to bug you guys again. Like, hey, man, I wasn't asking for a lot of money. So... Uh, donations on the right hand side there's the donation uh, button you can donate as much as you want thank you Jordan he's my, been my only donor uh, you also have a subscription button again thank you Jordan subscription is two dollars a month uh, but the, do the regular donation button is as much as you want uh, you know I haven't I haven't hawked at you guys for a while I haven't been asking for money but you know gotta pay for the wine and this you know someone was asking me this week well don't you think you'd be better off you know having wines that are you know maybe between ten and twenty dollars, and I completely agree. I, I want to do more wines that are in that fifteen to twenty dollar range, or that ten to fifteen dollar range, because you're going to get better quality wines in theory. But this is uh, this is you know something that I need to get money for to be able to buy the wines, and uh, this is you know this is all I do right now. So hopefully that changes soon. Might be uh, might be working somewhere soon. We don't, we don't know. You know, I have more interviews. So we're letting the personal life kind of drive into here. And um, so that's the biggest thing that separates between me and some of the other podcasters is that some of them have, they have other resources to get wine, like they run a wine shop. Uh, and I'm not, it's not, it's not a dig at any one person because there's several people that have wine podcast shows that run wine shops. Some of them are winemakers, um, which is cool. Matter of fact, I got to hook up with, with, um, with one because um, we've been talking. Um, some people they're you know they've got money behind them to, to pay for all this you know I, I have limited resources so enough of the bugging you about clicking links 
friend me up. If anything else, don't worry about it. If you can't, if, you know, I know the economy's bad. If you don't want to buy stuff, that's cool. Friend me up on Twitter. Friend me up on Facebook. Be a fan of the fan page on Facebook. I, I kind of ignore it a lot. Uh, sorry for all the fans that were on there. Because um, I still don't know what to do with that versus the regular page. But if I ever get more than 5,000 friends, then, you know, the only way you can know anything is to be a fan of the page. Um, plus the other things, you know, I, I got I got the videos going everywhere. If, uh, if you're one of those people that watch this stuff that are not uh, on the website... And you hear me talk about this website stuff. Come to the website. It's at the very end of the crawl. If you're watching it through the Fiddler player, it's a little thing down below. But 1337wine.com. By the way, I do own 1337wine TV, Elite Wine, Elite Wine TV. So if you enter all those in, you go all go to the same place. I think that's enough of the bugging you. Get the wine. Oh, excuse me. Get the wine. It's good. And uh, we'll see you at the end next week. I do have another Texas wine for next week, and I got another one that I posted on Twitter, the picture of the label. Tell me what it is. That's it. Talk to you guys later.